Welcome back to the Douglas Plus University. Today, we're gonna show you one of the many little things we encounter doing this job. Number one, the forbidden cotton candy. Looks great. I can eat it, but I won't, because it's forbidden. Just kidding, don't eat this. That's really Ever. bad for you. Look yes. at that filter, look at the filter though. Yeah, look at this. That's, that's the other flavoring. Yeah, this is the hard white hard. sugary <laughs> stuff that goes on top. Oh, oh, look, it's just different colors underneath. Yeah, it's like uh, Bondo or Bogarelli, as they call it down in Australia. Some bog. Oh. Bondo. Forbidden cotton candy. Stay away from it. No good. It's bad for you. It's bad for your health. I heard it's really crunchy. It's really crunchy, and it's like, it feels really good when it comes out the other side. Oh, like, yeah. Well, anyway, we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put it right here. Don't eat it. We're gonna put a ceiling cassette. This one right here, or no ceiling cassette, wall unit. This is the EF model. Denver loves these. They're called EF. We nickname these the extra fancy ones. So fancy. if you look at them, they're a little skinnier. They're not as as wide as the rounded ones, but. Uh, and they're square and they're designer. This is designer beautiful. grade. Beautiful. Designer grade. They even come with antimicrobial filters. Make sure you clean them really good. All right, guys. Bye. So here's Scavuzo. He just got done putting up the wall bracket for the EF model. And we're going to cut this hole out. But show him how we use the level so you don't go under the thing of a barber. We'll grab that for him. So grab your little level, put it right there, and just remember not to go underneath that. Go over more, Scaboozy. Yeah, there you go. Wood is right into a two by four. Okay, everybody, Denver likes to take this corner piece off so that when we run the control wire, you can actually get to this knockout with the snappy. And then always make sure your drain's underneath like that. Some guys will put it up like this, and that's not right. Water don't drain it. it yeah, it wants to go down like that. So put, put it on there. We're going to grab a piece of tape, actually, or a zip tie, and we'll just tape it to this. And then we're good to go. So we're about to pump this through the wall. Alrighty guys, Denver and Scavuza are gonna put these filters in. See how Denver took that bottom part out? So now we have access to that corner. Seeing the drains in there and everything. So that's gonna make it easier for us to get the snappy connector in. Yep, they're gonna put this in. That's like it, just like that, voila. Yep. How difficult is that, Denver? Is that between a one and a 10? Is that a, a 15? Probably a 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5 easy. If you ever played with Legos in your life, you can snap these in. Yeah, don't be scared. Make sure you put them in there. So I just kind of want to show you where I'm at up in this attic. Um, you're going to run into stuff like this. So you, you know, being an HVAC technician, you really got to know what you're doing. Um, this is the line set coming off the back of that wall unit that we put in the master suite. And I had crawled through this little hole right here from the other attic. So when you're working on houses, you really got to know how homes are built. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do if you're smart and you know what you've got going on. Um, I, I actually am going to cut this out. So what they did here is they framed that roof line in over there into this roof line. Okay. 
See, maybe you can see it. I don't know. Maybe you can't. My shadow might be in the way. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this out right here. This little light thing from Milwaukee is awesome. I mean, it has several different modes and the light will work really good if you put it on low. But you really got to know how, how construction is or, or some people just don't realize you can do something without really thinking it through. But uh, this is probably degree of difficulty I would say like a nine because this is stuff that a lot of people are just afraid to do and get up and do so I'm gonna cut this out I'm gonna make another video once I cut this out and show you guys how I'm gonna access this with my line set and my drain um, and the control wire so how you doing I'm doing good how you too you got everything I did let me see that bad boy. The legit sawzall. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to cut this out and I'll make another video as soon as I'm done. Bye. Hey, everybody. This is Jared. I just wanted to show you this. Basically, um, how we do the bridges and what we do. So, we clear the insulation out in that bay. And then we frame a 2x4 across on each side. And we screw it down. And then we install some Sammies. It's a little loud, I apologize. But this light right here, I just gotta throw it in Milwaukee, man. This thing sure does work great. Directional little guys on it. You can kind of spin it around and do all kinds of stuff. It's pretty sweet. I love Milwaukee tools, they're nice. So this can be used with a a battery or a, a plug but I'm gonna come down here it's a little loud kind of close that door while they're cutting the other one in but if you can see we install these little Sammies right here so we put four of those in. And we're gonna run some all thread down from that. And then we're gonna suspend it off of that. We'll get into that here in a little bit. But uh, make sure you guys, you know, cover the room. I like to use the cardboard boxes. So I put a plastic covering on the carpet. And then we put all the units, uh, the grills down here on the ground. So, and then this is the little branch box we're going to locate in there. I tend to like to put the branch box close to the attic access so that we can crawl right up into the attic and have it right there. So we don't got to crawl really far back into an area and do it. Um, what's really kind of nice about this install is there's this unit here. Just on the other side of this wall is another unit, which is about... 10 feet away from this hole and then there's another one directly over that way about 10 feet 15 feet maybe max but um yeah so anywho just wanted to show you that quick one Bye bye <laughs>